Hi, and welcome to part two of our SPSS statistics uh, tips and tricks series. In this section, we're going to be looking at working with variable sets. If you're not familiar with what variable sets are, this is a procedure within SPSS that allows us to define subsets of fields or variables uh, for display within dialog boxes and within the data editor itself. It's particularly useful for users who are working with very wide data sets where they've got lots of fields or lots of variables and it's hard to find the variables and fields that they want to work with in a particular procedure. If you're not familiar with where to find this procedure then it's actually under the utilities menu and about halfway down you'll see the define variable sets dialog which you can call up. Let's have a look at how we can work with it. If I just jump out to SPSS here, here I've got a data set and it's a fairly long data set. If we jump to variable view here in terms of the number of fields that we have, it's quite a wide data set. That's um, 161 different fields within there. So if I'm trying to find a particular field to work with, if I go up here to frequencies, for example, you can see the problem is that, you know, you've got quite a lot of fields to scroll through. You can, of course, switch on the display variable labels here if they're not on by default. You can, you know, you can uh, you can sort it in alphabetical order, and then switch to variable names. If you know the field you're looking for, you can just hopefully just jump to that. But a lot of times, if you're not 100% familiar with the data set, you know it's confusing, it's difficult and frustrating to try and find the fields that you want to work with. So defining a variable set may be appropriate, and to do so, if we go to utilities here and click on define variable sets, about halfway down we can start to group uh, sets of fields together um, thematically. So to begin with, for example, we've got a whole bunch of fields here asking people about their interests, about their hobbies and preoccupations. So we can just basically group all of them together and say what sorts of things they like to do from everything from walking to going to movies, cooking dinner to watching TV and create a little set name called that interests. And add that set. Uh, Conversely, we've got another set here at the bottom, which is related to demographic information about, you know, how many children they have, where they live and their age, etc. So I could create another set here called demographics. And add set and so on and so on. So if I click close at that point, if I want to go to utilities and actually use these sets and, and maybe mask out the other fields that I'm not working with, I can simply go to utilities, use variable sets, or alternatively click on this little button up here, which is just our shortcut button to use variable sets. And suddenly it says, you can see that at the moment it's using all variables, new variables, and it's using uh, demographics. Well, if I'm using all variables, obviously I'm using the subset as well. If I switch that off, say don't use all variables, just show me new variables and show me the, the ones in the interest set, and then click OK. Uh, what we'll notice is that there's just a slight change in one of the fields there disappeared because it wasn't in the interest set and all of the fields related to demographics and all of the other questions are no longer displayed within the analyze uh, menu and when we call up a dialog box like descriptives for example or frequencies uh, you can see that once again of course all the other fields are masked out conversely if i go back here and click on you know use variable sets again and say no I'm not interested in using the interest set I just want to work with the demographic set now I click OK uh, once again let me just switch that off make sure that's just demographics yeah so demographics suddenly only the demographic information is shown here and we've got gender and year etc and again within uh, descriptive statistics frequencies we can see that all the stuff relating to interest that disappeared so it's a way for us to define subsets very powerful very useful particularly when we're working with uh, you know, very wide data sets. If we just click on show all variables again, click that, it suddenly shows all of the variables and we're back to working with all of the variables again within the data set. So um, that's how we work with use variable sets.